building personal relationships with some kids that don't know they like music yet. So when you ask a kid and you're like, hey, do you like music? And they're like, no, I hate music. And you, tell, you go, hey, so do you, do, you watch, do you watch SpongeBob or whatever? Like, yeah. And I'm like, well, that has music in it. Yeah. You know, and I start to introduce them. And one of the kids specifically, he's never played an instrument before. He wanted to do basketball all the time. Like, he didn't really care. And I started showing him some, one of my friends playing saxophone. And this kid really, really liked saxophone. So one day he comes back and he's like, hey, uh, I'm doing saxophone and band and it looks really cool. And he's going into the eighth grade and he's building upon it and he's, it's been really cool seeing him grow. Um, he's one of the best saxophonists I've ever heard. Yeah. But for him to go from that to, to not even knowing that he loved music to now being very involved in music and band and playing saxophone, kids need to know that that's cool. It's cool to be in music. It's very cool to want to uh, build upon your strengths and do something that's not popular. Yeah. Um, I did basketball all through high school but I was different because I did music. And now in turn, I'm doing music, I'm doing music starting full time, I'm, I'm doing this thing, and it's, it's showing up in other kids' lives to where they want to start doing music so and they want to you know, build upon it. So it's been really cool to see yeah. that. What, what are you dreaming? What, what do you want to do? So I'm an educator first. Okay. So like I teach uh, private lessons, I teach music, I, 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 that's, that's what I want to do with my life. As a singer, do mm. you, uh, I, is your dream recording? You yeah. want an album out? Do you yeah. have one out? Yeah, I have an album out. Oh, you do so, good. yeah. Um, I just released the album March 31st. I actually had my album release show here. Um, okay. So, it's out on all platforms. It's called The I Album. Um, it's, it was four years of work that worked really hard on building it, on making sure that it's, it's good quality for the viewers and the listeners. Um, and it's been great traction. I've had a, a, an amazing uh, response to this music. So nice. it's my first full album that I released on March 31st. Is this your hometown? Yes, I'm from Davenport. And what can you tell me about Davenport as a um, musician? What, yeah. What's it like? Okay, so Davenport, it supports music in a different way. So there's a few genres that are very popular, whether it's blues or rock. I'm not, I don't do blues or rock, but it's cool that I get to see those crowds come and try to learn new music and try to be in a new environment. I'd say I'm an R&B kind of funk singer, soul kind of deal. Yeah. Um, so it's cool for them to kind of be in an entirely new environment and be like, oh, this is cool too. So the Quad City supports music and the Quad City music scene is amazing. There are tons of amazing, uh, very, uh, exciting musicians in the Quad Cities um, that have gone on to do amazing things. But it's cool that we have that infrastructure here. We have tons of music. So so many different atmospheres that you can, every week, you can go see music. That's great. Every week, every day, you can go see music in the Quad Cities. Yeah. So we have a lot of talent here, and people need to start realizing that.